Join us as we put the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 747 head-to-head -to, -head to see which giant of the skies truly reigns supreme. Welcome to the Inside Story. In this video, we'll compare the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 747, the two titans of air travel, to determine which one reigns supreme in the aviation world. Without further ado, let's get into it. For the Boeing 747, we will take a look at the final variant built, being the Dash 8 Intercontinental. The Boeing 747-8i has a range of 7,370 nautical miles or 13,650 kilometers. The aircraft has a wingspan of 224 feet with a height of 63 feet. In a typical free class configuration, the aircraft can carry 410 passengers, which was higher than the free class setup in the Dash 400 variant at 344 passengers. The 747-8 is approved at more than 271 destination airports around the world, of which 168 of them are in service. The maximum takeoff weight of this particular behemoth is 447.7 tonnes, or 987,000 pounds. The 747-8i is one of the fastest variants in the 747 program as we will explore shortly when comparing it to the Airbus A380. The cost of a 747-8i stands at around $418.4 million, which was cheaper than the Airbus A380 which costs around $455 million per unit. With those stats in mind, it is interesting to see how far Boeing was able to take the 747 program before production ceased a few years ago. It is key to note also that the Boeing 747 program had lasted longer than its super jumbo competitor, spanning well over 50 years and quite a few 747 aircraft are still in commercial service to this day. The Airbus A380 is the world's largest passenger aircraft, measuring 73 metres long, 24 metres high and a wingspan of 79.8 metres. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 560 tonnes, which is around 113 tonnes more than that of the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental. Furthermore, the A380 has a design range of 8,500 nautical miles, or 15,700 kilometres, which is around 1,130 nautical miles more, or 2,050 kilometres more than the 747-8. The maximum speed of the A380 is Mach 0.89 or 945 km per hour, which is slower than the Boeing 747-8i which has a top speed of 614 miles an hour or 988 km an hour. 251 Airbus A380s were built which was more than the 155 747-8i's that were produced by Boeing. That being said, across the entire 747 program there were 1,574 units of the aircraft built over its five decades plus time on the production line. The A380 in a single class layout could carry a whopping 853 passengers or 545 in a standard four class configuration. Compare this to the 747-8i and the aircraft could handle around 467 passengers in a free class configuration. Obviously the A380 was more expensive for customers to buy, but arguably you got more bang for your buck in terms of range, takeoff weight, passenger configuration and more. The moment of truth arrives as we reveal which aircraft has the edge in terms of capacity, range and overall passenger satisfaction, leading to an unexpected conclusion. Realistically, it is difficult to choose between whether the Boeing 747 or the Airbus A380 reigns supreme as the giant of the skies. To be honest, they both are. Yes, whilst the Airbus A380 can handle more passengers, more range and a higher takeoff weight, you also have to weigh that up against the legacy that the Boeing 747 left behind in the world of aviation. The Airbus A380 of course is a marvel in aviation engineering and it was very significant that Airbus could build an aircraft like that. However, the one thing to take away from this is that such an era of aircraft production like this is pretty much over for the time being. 
But with Airbus and Boeing making so many 747s and A380s, their legacy will live on for quite some time. The question we should be asking is whether we will see aircraft programs of this magnitude again in the future. What do you think? Which aircraft reigns supreme in your eyes? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to check out our next feature videos on the Aviation Source YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to our eco program to help us on our journey in making the environment a better place to live. For now, this has been the Inside Story and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.